This is uh, Chris Orser Landscaping coming to you from a, uh, a homeowner's uh, property and a uh, great example of a more, more of a natural setting with a, a, a wooded setting here and here in uh, southeastern Pennsylvania in Bucks County we do have an issue with uh, deer browsing on a lot of different plants here. Um, this house in particular, uh, these plants were put in and the majority of plants have been deer browsed. Um, and at Chris Orser Landscaping, we take the, uh, the proper time and care to put in plants that are deer resistant um, and that won't give you this type of landscape. So here's just a, a great example of a deer browsing on a plant. You can see there that the it almost looks like a, uh, a really bad cut on uh, uh, on the shrub. This happens to be a rhododendron, which uh, deer do like. Um, and you can kind of see that it just looks brownish on the end, and it's just uh, a really kind of rough, it almost looks like a rough cut that somebody came in with like a really sharp saw and tried to, to saw off the, the ends of the stem. So that, that's how you can tell if uh, deer have been browsing on it. The other issue here is because of these, these large trees, um, a lot of times what happens is that it soaks up a lot of the uh, nutrients and it affects the pH levels and such uh, in beds like this. So the other thing that Chris Orser Landscaping uh, does is come in before we plant any plant we do take a soil sample to test the pH levels, um, nutrient levels, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, um, other micronutrients and macronutrients that uh, ensures you whatever plants that we do put in is going to thrive and look healthy and uh, <clears throat> grow the way they're supposed to grow and not to give you conditions like we have here this is another example of uh, a deer browse plant that uh, essentially just killed the plant. So, um, two conditions going on here: number one, the soil; number two, the deer that have really affected this landscape. And at this point uh, in the season, um, the landscape should be looking not as sparse as it is, as it is now. I mean the. Uh, the way this was set up is to give it a naturalistic setting uh, to go around with the context. You can see the, the trees in the, in the background. Um, but at this point, the, the bed just looked really bare, and uh, there's just a lot of dead plants in here due to deer browsing and uh, probably some, some improper uh, earth deficiencies in the soil. So, um, and Chris Orser Landscaping also does uh, offer a deer repellent service which we come out and spray your existing plants in the landscape which repels the deer um, and over time they do learn to stay away from these particular plants that uh, deer do like to 